middle school. Literally the worst years of my life. Just try and avoid it. It's the worst, worst, worst years of my life. Just kidding. It's actually not that bad. Did I get you? Did I get you? Comment down below if I got you. Because, yeah. My acting skills are great. No, they, they're not good. But, yeah. So, by my wonderful introduction, you might have noticed that today I'm going to be giving you some middle school advice and also a bit telling you my experience on how I started middle school and my worries, my fears, and like everything just telling you a bit how to be more relaxed when you enter middle school. I'm just so ready to know how everything works. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to join my channel or watch more fun videos like this one. And I'm going to be doing a lot of back to school videos now, so just click that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so for most people, the biggest fear is the first day of school. Trust me. I was literally scared. I did not want to go to school. I was so scared and scared. Like, ours, my school made it like so scary. I'm not sure if like other schools say so bad. But like I was literally freaking out the day before school. But actually when you get there it's like really really just easy. But my advice would be not to bring your whole textbooks. Uh, like because you're going to have to just carry them around. But I'm not sure maybe that's how in my school worked. I just brought, well I just brought a notebook and some pens and a folder and some like a um, binder and just some pens just to write down because our school doesn't exactly tell us what we need so I just wrote down I just had a notebook to write down exactly what I needed for each class and my experience was wonderful my main teacher was my English teacher and he was so kind to us he explained us everything he gave us like a tour of the school but it was so great and actually once like so my advice is not to freak out because it is not bad at all. The teachers are so nice most of the time, most of the time. Only if you make them angry. But yeah, now we're going to be moving on to the next fear. Okay, so the next fear, and now I'm going to give you some advice on this one, is the tests. Because when you come from primary, at least from my experience, you have literally spelling tests. Like 10 words. And maybe a timetable, that's how it works in my school. And then when you get to middle school, you have like four double sided page tests. And it's like, uh, that, that is not right. But yeah, so my advice is to start studying as soon as the teacher tells you you're going to have a test. So you do a study guide. If you don't know what a study guide is, you write down everything that you need to know for a test. Sometimes teachers will give you like a little paper or like, I don't know, something saying what's coming in the test, so just write everything down, learn it, and then you're going to probably get A or even higher, I don't know, a 10, an A, highest, A+, plus. okay, just really good marks, and it works really good for me, it's worked for me all the three years of middle school, and yeah, teachers are a very important thing in middle school because teachers like in every other school like in high school and primary they're always there like they're always there so my advice never make a teacher angry trust me well no i, I don't know but i think for my classmates teachers can get very angry so always bring your homework on time teachers are happy if not they get really angry do not talk in class like with a friend when the teacher's talking. And if you want to say something, put up your hand. Like don't just shout it in. And what else? Don't run in the class. If it's science class, like science, if you have like biology or chemistry or physics when you're in the lab, do not run. Bad idea. Horrible idea. Don't do it. Cafeteria. So everyone's worst nightmare in the movies. If you watch the movies, they're always like, you're gonna, like, always the first graders, always are sitting on the floor. It's not true. Like, at my school, everyone has a place, or even extra tables. Like, it's just the movies. I was so worried that I wasn't gonna have space. I wasn't gonna 
end up like I don't know but what I used to do sometimes is just sit outside it's nice if your school allows it it's like really nice it's definitely to sit in the cafeteria if you like bring your own lunch just sit outside with your friends and it's really much nicer than being in a loud cafeteria trust me I hate the cafeteria it's not good like in the movies it's the worst and loudest place of the school literally the loudest Homework, the last one, and the one that people mostly have fears of. Well, there are actually two more. The first one is homework. Homework, homework, homework. So, in primary, you like nearly never, ever, ever have homework. You might have one or two pages of like words and like little puzzles, but then in middle school comes the text. One page for the next day and PowerPoints and whatnot. So, I sometimes had like my uh, planner, the full day filled with homework, it was like the whole day filled with homework. But then when you start to do the homework, actually you just think, oh my god, I'm going to spend the whole rest of my evening doing homework. But actually, you go through very fast. The problem is when you have very little homework and a lot of time, then you start to get a bit lazy, oh, I'm just going to watch a YouTube video now. So. Uh, my advice is to do your homework first thing when you get home or if you have like a my school period where you don't have class and then you can just go to like a study room or the library. I would do my homework there because then when you get home you have more time to do study for tests or even just hang around, watch Netflix, watch YouTube and for me edit YouTube and film YouTube. That's to me like I need to do my homework because then I need to get home and film the video for you guys. But yeah, so my advice is to study the first thing when you get home because then you have the rest of the day to do your sports, your own stuff, just what you want to do. Not have to be doing homework at 11 o'clock at night like I do sometimes. Because yeah, I'm, I'm great Amy. I have to stop doing homework at 11 o'clock at night, so, yeah. Okay, so the last fear of most people, including me, was the hallways and the lockers. And trust me, I was freaking out that the older kids would, like, be so big and they would scare me. Because the thing about my school is, even though it's, like, kind of divided into middle school and high school, like, high school and middle school are, like, in the same building. And there's not like you don't change school when you go to high school, but you like change a bit the classes and stuff. So I was freaking out that the seventh graders, that like the seventh years, like the last year of high school, the like seniors, would like be huge. But actually, I went and I'm pretty tall. And I was like, they're like my dad's size. I was like, oh my god, they're so tall. But actually, they like respect the first years. You might get pushed around a bit, but it's not like in the movies where they just push you on the floor. Everyone just wants to get to class, so they won't like push you and make a big scene. So you don't have to worry about being pushed around or hit or stuff in the hallways. The hallways aren't that bad. The best thing is not to go like, I don't know. I would always like be the first one to go into the school after lunch, so then there are less people. Okay, locker situation in our school is horrible. We have like tiny locker, lockers. They're like this big. This. They're tiny. My books barely fit in them. And my bag. So, they're like four on top of each other. So, I hate going to lockers because then you have like three people below you. I always have the top locker. They're like three people below you trying to get to your stuff. And then you're trying to get to your stuff and not dropping your books on top of the other people. So, I find lockers stressing, but they're pretty fun. Like, you can decorate them and stuff, and I like doing that. And you're allowed to decorate them if you had any worries about not being allowed to decorate them. You can do it as long as you don't paint on them or just graffiti, I don't know. You have to keep them clean. So if you'd like to stick some photos up or a chandelier that they sell in Target, there's no problem. And if you forget your books, um, at home, sometimes it's just an extra. It doesn't matter, your teacher will just tell you to bring them next time, and you just bring them next time. They're all gonna like send a note home. Okay, if you've done them like five times, then of course, but like if you do it once, it's not the end of the world. 
So yeah. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to watch more fun videos like this one. And of course my back to school videos which I'm doing as much as possible and trying to film as many back to school videos because I know that a lot of you are already entering back to school, to school not back to school, but I'm not entering until September so I'm like kind of in still this like vacation mood, like vacation, I don't want to do anything about school but I'm doing it for you guys. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!